Hey, what's up everybody? This is Norris Dental 4 once again. And today I'm gonna show you a real, real quick tutorial on how to create your own belt. I have to be honest with you, this is a very easy project. I probably shouldn't even be doing a tutorial on it. It should be like a Vine or like an Instagram video, but I need content on my YouTube channel, so I'm gonna do a full tutorial just to give you detail on how to create your own belt. So before I get started, I'm gonna let you know all the tools that you need. Um, first and foremost, you need um, a strip of uh, belt fabric. Um, I think that's the correct term. It's just a, a real thin strip about an uh, inch and a half. And you can get about double waist because sometimes if it's too thin, you have to double it up to create the belt. But this one is pretty sturdy. So in this case, I just got about um, my waist measurements and like half that, just to have um, more, just in case I might need it. Um, next is gonna be a set of D-rings. Um, this is gonna be what actually fastens the belt complete in the front um, as like a buckle. And you need one pin and you need scissors, okay? Don't blink because it's gonna be very fast, okay? Um, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take one end of your belt fabric and you're gonna fold it, okay? The side you fold it to is gonna be the back of the belt. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your D-rings and have the flat portion of the D-ring face to your left. So the folded end that you push through, you're gonna place it against the back of the belt like this. So you're gonna create like a three layer, as you can see, all right? So you're gonna take the one pin that I told you to get and you're gonna pin it there for sewing. So once you get to your sewing machine, all you're gonna have to do is stitch a square uh, right underneath the D-rings as close as you can get, down the sides of the belt and then finish in at the end. And after that, uh, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to finish it up. So now that I'm done stitching the D-rings in place, uh, I want to show you exactly what it looks like. These are the D-rings. This is going to be the inside of the belt. I just did a little square to keep this in place. All right. Um, also, keep in mind, if you don't have a sewing machine, just go to the tailor. Tell them exactly what you need done. I mean, it probably less than five bucks. Um, it'll take a couple seconds and you'll be good to go. So next is actually fitting the belt to your waist. Since I had extra belt fabric, I'm gonna go around my waist and measure it to my waist, all right? So once it goes through the D-rings, the belt is gonna go flare out to your right side. So typically your first belt loop starts about right here. So I wanna make it long enough to go through that without it hanging in the front. And I don't want it too long for it not to reach the second one. So I say about a good eight inches uh, is what I need to cut at. So now I can take my scissors cut at my mark. So where I cut at, I'm gonna fold it maybe a quarter of an inch and stitch it down just so the fabric won't fray from the end. So I just finished uh, stitching down the end. Um, the fraying part is tucked in underneath. And also you wanna fold the tip opposite of the D-ring side. Because once you go through the D-rings, your belt is gonna flap this way so you'll be able to have a clean finish on this side opposed to showing this when you wear your belt so let me try it on and see if it works So there you have it, your very own custom belt. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching. I told you it was gonna be very fast, so I hope you didn't miss anything. Um, also, subscribe to this style channel. Um, please tell me what you like, what you don't like, what you wanna see more of, and I mean, I'll try to provide that for you once I learn how to do it. Also, subscribe to my lifestyle blog, which is norisdentaforward.com. And until next time, see you next week.